So one of the things I keep trying to print is a Fresnel lens. I have tried about 10 different materials that all claim to be very, very clear materials. So far I've had eh, medium success with them. I do get some Fresnel lens effects, but they are just a little bit too cloudy to give it that real strength that you see from a true Fresnel lens. I've got one new material here that just came in last night. I've just printed our first Fresnel lens. It's going to be a little hard to see, but it's right there. It is literally about a half a millimeter thick. What I found is the thinner I can print these, the clearer it turns out. This material so far looks like it might have the best chance for success. It's been sitting in there overnight, so it's kind of peeled itself up from the bed. We're going to have to wash the glue off the back side of it. Let's go ahead and pull it out of there. Okay. All right, so this that's what it looks like. You can see the glue still stuck to the back side of the Fresnel lens there. Let's go ahead and get this washed off and we're going to give this little Fresnel lens that we just 3D printed a test outside just to see if it works at all. Go ahead and wash the glue off of this Fresnel lens. So far, Uh, it's still got a little bit of a milky color to it, but that's the clearest that I've been able to achieve so far. And I do feel uh, a little bit of a ridge on there. Go ahead and just keep washing this glue off so we can get the clearest we can out of this. I found that if you polish these up just a little bit on the uh, build plate side, they get a little bit clearer, but we're not going to do that today. Go ahead and get that cleaned. This is the sink we've got here in the shop. Um, I do see a little bit of a magnification taking place there. Let's get this out in the sun and give our 3D printed Fresnel lens a try. All right, guys, so we've got the little Fresnel lens out here. I still got some water droplets on it. I'm trying to get it to dry off. It is not perfectly clear, just like the rest of the materials. But I do see a magnification effect taking place. So here we go. We've got this little piece of wood right here. Let's make sure we got some ridges maybe. Let's see if we can get any Fresnel effect. Ooh, hey. Um, I do see a little bit of a, a dot forming. Let's go all the way in. Let's go all the way out. Well, it's not perfect. And the dot's not quite as small as I'd like it to be. Oh, hey, look, look, look at that. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. We are getting a little bit of smoke. There we go, look at that. We are getting a Fresnel lens effect out of our 3D printed Fresnel lens. It's pretty weak, but it is the Fresnel lens effect. Look at this, we're getting a little bit of smoke. If I move that off the piece of wood, you can see a little bit of a black mark right there. And I still have some moisture or water droplets on the lens. You can see that there. All right, let's try that again. Let's pull the dot back. Oh, look at that. We are getting smoke. All right, so that is the successful, although weak, Fresnel lens that we have just printed with our Chidi X-Max 3.